A new study out of Penn State has found climate change could be affecting our rivers even more than our oceans. This could cause problems for everything that relies on rivers, including us. Sonica Barga joining us now to explain. Sonica. Taylor, Valerie, researchers say their findings are both surprising and disturbing. They say rivers are getting warmer and losing oxygen faster than oceans, and that could have long-term impacts. These are not, you know, it's something to be take very lightly. This is what Dr. Lee Li Lee and her group of researchers at Penn State focus on. How climate change and uh, like human activities influence what's in the river. And the results of their most recent study are troubling. We usually don't expect river and streams to lose oxygen as much. Lee's group studied nearly 800 rivers going back 40 years. They found 70 percent are losing oxygen and nearly 90 percent are warming up. And if the, the oxygen, we're losing oxygen enough, low enough, the fish die off is not uncommon. Low oxygen and warmer rivers are problematic for humans too. That can release heavy metals into our streams and greenhouse gases. The fisheries will be affected, the tourists will be affected, even property values will be affected along the rivers. Here in Pennsylvania, there are many efforts to preserve water quality. The Fish and Boat Commission tries to, quote, mitigate the effects of environmental and human-induced impacts like climate change through projects like planting trees on stream banks and reducing runoff into rivers. As for water temperature, spokesperson Mike Parker says, quote, wild trout populations, which require cold and clean water year-round, are a focus of our efforts. It's coming back ultimately to the air warming up. Lee says the best thing we can do for our rivers, cut greenhouse gas emissions. We can reduce the pace of warming and, and hopefully it will also affect how fast rivers are warming up. Lee tells me they do want to expand this study. Her group looked at rivers in the U.S. and Central Europe because those sites have the most data available. But looking at rivers on a global scale will help us understand how bad the problem really is. In the studio, Sonica Bargo, Valerie, back to you.